Hi, it's Kathy with another episode of Fast and Fabulous on Friday. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable uh, birthday card, but we're going to make it as a welcome to your new home or congratulations on your new home uh, card for someone. But I'll also uh, point out where I got the happy birthday and it's your day from. But isn't that cute? I thought that would be a really cute card for somebody who just purchased their home. And I'll give you a couple of tips and tricks about this card as well. So the first thing is you'll need the Just Add Color uh, Designer Series paper and the houses. Now I used my Scan and Cut and cut all these out pretty much at one time. Um, it did take a couple of passes to get them all, but most of them worked out very quickly. Um, but they're very simple and straight lines, so they wouldn't take too much to cut out. And I just put them in a clear bag, and so I've got them ready to go. So for your cardstock, you're going to need a piece that is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches of pear pizzazz. You'll need a piece of four by five and a quarter inches whisper white for the inside of your card. You'll need a piece of soft sky in uh, four inches by five and a quarter and a piece of the gold side of the little dots from the fabulous foil acetate. You'll need a scrap piece of white for stamping on for your sentiment. And then you will need four of the houses and I just chose different widths um, to them and heights and different roof lines. So I'll put these three on the front of my card and then this one on the inside of my card. Um, so, and then you'll need some ribbon. And what I've got is um, two little pieces, about two inches to two and a quarter inches of the old olive mini chevron and the um, natural trim, the quarter inch natural trim that has the gold. And then two six, um, actually these are five and a half inch pieces of the mini chevron in old olive and two pieces of the metallic edge ribbon in gold. So those are our ribbons. And then finally for inks and markers, on the markers I have Pear Pizzazz, Daffodil Delight, Marina Mist, Smoky Slate, uh, Basic Gray, and Soft Suede. And for my inks, I have Marina Mist and Pear Pizzazz. And the stamp sets that I'll be using are the At Home With You and the Happy Birthday Gorgeous. Now we'll be using this piece here. And then also this is where I got the Happy Birthday and the It's Your Day if you want to make a birthday card. If you want to make a... Um, congratulations on your new home card, then you'll use this at home with you. And I've got the congrats here and then the on your new home here. So the first thing we'll do is start coloring our houses. And I will go ahead and do that off calendar so you don't have to sit and watch through all of that because it does take some time. But I made sure that my three houses on the front of the card, show you here, um, each were in a different color, but they still had the three colors coordinating. So this has actually all three. This one has the yellow and blue, and this one has the blue and green. And then on the inside, I used all of them as well. I used the Smoky Slate for uh, my little dormers and the steps. And I only use the basic gray on this one for the stone work. So otherwise this is all smoky slate. And then rooftops were in soft suede. So I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. 
Okay, I have them all colored and I'm gonna go ahead with my Wink of Stella and uh, put a little bit of glitter in the windows so they can shine and maybe up there as well. Because after all, they are glass and there would be a reflection. And don't forget if you have little lanterns to light them with a little bit of the yellow and then some Wink of Stella to have them glow as well. So we'll real quickly go through and do these. Okay, so then we can set them to the side here and bring our scrap piece of Whisper White and the Pear Pizzazz ink and Marina Mist ink. Now this time I'm actually going to do the congrats um, on your new home. So I've got the congrats here and, and the on your new home here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off and put it on a block and stamp that here. And then the on your new home over here and then with the pear pizzazz I'm going to center it over the on your new home just like that now if you look at this this would be really long a lot of gapping on just this little word con Congrats. Um, the new home looks real balanced, but I think that it's going to look kind of odd on the congrats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp it, but I'm going to put the congrats over to the right hand side and just give it about that same amount of gapping, maybe a little bit less. Just like that. And then I'm going to come back and do the other side with about the same amount and then try and line that up as well as I can. And that wasn't real straight. I The camera's in my way, but um, on my other one here, as you can see, I got both ends and it looks really quite good. And that gives me the ability to have it be a little bit smaller than this one here. So then we'll get the uh, punch and punch those out. Like that. And then on this one, I'm gonna punch here like that. And then I'll put it back in. Now I can do it either this way or put it on a post-it note, but this works real well. And just slip it in like that and punch that out. And I've got the congrats on your new home. So now we can start assembling our card. Let's get the inks out of the way. So I'm going to start by uh, putting on my ribbons at the bottom of my uh, fabulous foil here and I'm just going to run that up like that and put the green across the bottom. And then the gold right above that. that again. I want them right up next to each other, just like that. And then on the back side, I'll just put a little bit of adhesive here. Oops. And there. And I'm going to just make sure when I wrap them that the tails don't stick out the bottom. So I'll wrap that one in a little bit and that one that way. Okay. 
And so I'm now ready to put my houses on. And I'm going to do those with dimensionals. And let's see, which one of these two do I want on the front? I think we're going to put this one on the inside. So these are my three on the front. There we go. And we'll start with this one in the center. And we'll place it here in the center. And then this one will be right here. Oh, didn't get that off. There we go. Right there. And finally this one on the right. Now I'm intentionally assembling my card this way so that um, we're going to hide all of our adhesive for attaching this to our pool party piece um, by placing it where it, it will be hidden. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut little angles on them. And I'll put a little piece of adhesive here and place this one about like that. A little bit more adhesive and place this one right next to it. My apologies on the blower in the background. My husband's outside working in the yard. And then a little bit of adhesive on the back here. And place those down. Okay. Now I can attach this here by putting adhesive where it won't be seen. So I'll put some adhesive there and down along each of the houses and across the bottom here. And then just place that right on top here and line it up. And that will hold it in place. And then the congrats on your new home. I'm going to take some of the edges of my dimensionals and put that on the back of these. And on this one, I'm going to put the on your new here at the bottom and the congrats across the banner pieces here. And then we'll attach that to the front of your card. And then we'll get working on the inside of your card. So for the inside of the card, we'll need our Whisper White piece. And again, we will uh, put some fast fuse here down at the bottom for your ribbon. Putting the old olive chevron at the bottom and the gold 
satin here at the top. And then we'll take our house and just place it here. Fold our ribbon ends in. side of our card. So now here is the congrats on your new home and the inside is here or you can do it in a birthday. Isn't that cute? Well, Thank you for joining me on another Fast and Fabulous on Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and check back next week for another edition of Fast and Fabulous. And also check me out on Tuesdays with Tippin' on Tuesday. Check out my blog at inkingitupwithkathy.com and my online store you can reach by going to my blog. Thank you.